Save our planet. Greenland Glacier loses largest ice since 1962. In the early morning of Thursday, August 5th, a vast 87 square kilometer chunk of ice representing one quarter of the Peterman Glacier separated from the main body of ice and became an island four times the size of New York's Manhattan. The rupture comes as scientists report that the first six months of 2010 have been the hottest on record globally. Speaking of this and a previous loss to the glacier's diminishing ice shelf, climatologist Dr. Jason E. Box of Ohio State University stated, Peterman is a sleeping giant that is slowly awakening. The coincidence of this area loss and a 30 square kilometer loss in 2008 with abnormal warmth this year, along with increasing sea surface temperatures and sea ice decline, are all part of a climate warming pattern. Other scientists monitoring the ice say the newly calved island will enter the deep waterway between northern Greenland and Canada known as the Nares Strait, where it may block the channel or break into smaller pieces as it is propelled south by ocean currents. Ocean warming currents are circulating around the fjord here and eroding the underbelly of Peterman Glacier at an incredible rate which is 25 times that of the surface melt. There's been a revelation in the last couple of years in the role that warming oceans play in triggering the enhanced acceleration, breakup and thinning of these outlet glaciers. Dr. Box, colleagues, and other international researchers, we appreciate your diligent observations and reporting on the continued alarming melt of Arctic ice. May we heed such warnings and join now in adopting sustainable planet cooling lifestyles. Speaking with concern during a September 2009 video conference in Peru, as on previous occasions about the predicament facing humanity due to the many aspects of global warming, Supreme Master Ching Hai offered simple but effective suggestions. Glaciers melt in many places so dramatically that one moment there are massive floods and soon after a drought. We are not ready for the changes that are coming. The wisest action would be to fix the situation we have now and prevent further damage. Then we won't even have to worry about the future. All the leading scientists we have spoken to tell us one and the same that we must handle it now, not tomorrow. The smartest way would be to stop the worsening of global warming by being vegan. It sounds very simple, but it is the best solution, the most effective, and the effect of it will be felt almost immediately. So please, before the situation gets any more out of hand, let's choose the vegan diet, be veg, go green so we can all save the planet.